with your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. All right, well, we've got some sun breaking through this evening, and it's getting ready to set there on the horizon over the western skies. It will turn clear as we go overnight tonight. Um, it's going to be a little bit slower for our southern counties, but then we turn to a weekend warm-up as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Some isolated showers will be possible as we go through the next seven days. The next front by the middle of next week, so we're talking Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Current temperatures right now sitting in the 50s, 59 in Sterling City, 52 here in St. Angelo, 55 in Brady, 54 in Junction, some 40s on the map, 47 in Barnhart, 48 in Arizona and El Dorado. So we got a couple of cool spots out there this evening. We're only going to go cooler overnight tonight. Almanac for today made it to a high of 56. That's a little below average for us for this time of the year. Record stands at 86 back in 1975. This morning's low of 37, just a few degrees above where we should be this time of the year for morning lows. Bus stop forecast for tomorrow morning. A different start to our day on our Friday. Clear conditions, temperatures dropping into the upper 20s as you get on the bus tomorrow morning. Heading home on Friday afternoon, temperatures climbing into the low 50s with sunny conditions. So a beautiful Friday afternoon. It will be a little bit on the chilly side as you get off the bus tomorrow as you head home from school. Daytime highs look like this over the next five days. We are going to be on the up and up as we go into the weekend. Temperatures climbing into the 50s on Friday, then into the 60s, then eventually into the low 70s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as we start next week. We are on the dry side for us as we go through the se past several days. We're continuing to see more dry conditions across our area. Moderate droughts generally from Mertzen down to El Dorado over towards Melvin, and then seeing severe droughts starting to take over portions of Tom Green County, extreme droughts into our northern counties as well near Robert Lee and Ballinger, as well as north of Sterling City. We could use some rain. Unfortunately, we're not seeing that. We are seeing the clouds, maybe a few showers down towards our southern counties, but I think the bulk of that rain is probably going to be well south of those areas as well. As we take a look at our high-risk future cast, you're going to see the clouds starting to clear across our area, continue to clear. They hang around the I-10 corridor as we see a few showers could pop up near Junction or Sonora overnight tonight. Those are going to be very light in nature. And then as we go through the day on Friday, things are really going to start to clear out for us as we go through Friday morning and into the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine across the entire area. This weekend, we're going to start warming up. It's going to be sunny. Temperatures climbing back into the 70s by Sunday. By Monday, we've got another area of interesting weather that's going to come through here and basically bring a chance for a few showers. Rain chances will hold that at 20% early Monday morning. And then as we go into next week, another cold front swings through. Highs will be in the 40s behind this front. And then there's a chance that we could see a little bit of winter weather mix in behind it. We're still going to monitor this closely as we get closer towards the end of next week. But for now, chances are going to be on the low side. Tonight, we'll drop to around 29 degrees under partly cloudy conditions. Winds out of the north at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And then for our Friday, we're going to top out near 53 sunny and mild conditions. Winds out of the north at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So we work our way through the next five days. This is what to expect. Plenty of sunshine to come as we work our way through the weekend. Temperatures climbing back into the 70s, low 70s for daytime highs Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then a cold front swings through as we roll into the middle of next week. And we'll turn cooler. Highs in the 50s and 40s as we end next week. Stay with us. We've got more KCN News coming up right after this.